Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. If you follow me on X, you know I had a rough intellectual morning yesterday. Today, I'll share my bad feelings with the rest of you. We've got the Earth disaster cycle, solar forcing leaping forward on a global awareness scale, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find a very quiet day, provided you don't consider IMF connection and coronal hole alpha waves as activity. Solar flaring is low, eruptive activity is low, and solar wind is nominal, but the enhanced stream from this coronal hole is going to arrive in the next 24 hours or so. It's been lifting the earthquake watch as well. Expect geomagnetic activity to amplify as we crest the midway point of the week. Seismicity has already begun its uptick. Yesterday we had twin quakes to report and today an even bigger one. This one was luckily offshore enough to spare the South Island major damage but they felt it. 6.7 just off in the water. Eyes open for more. Promised more from the upcoming EGU conference, didn't I? Well, how about this? An Elon Musk level launch forward and in inclusion in official climate models. Is it complete? No. But the inclusion of energetic particles and their impact on ozone and the top down forcing opens the door to crush the fraudulent narrative that has ruled our media for four decades. This is the sharpening of the knife for that job. But folks, someone pointed me towards a collection of scientists doing what I do, in general, and they caught my attention immediately by suggesting something external to the solar system is impacting Earth's core, causing climate change, and it's related to the magnetic anomalies seen all over the planet, and it's not just Earth, it is a solar system shift. Yeah, that'll catch my attention, won't it, observers? But it was their second special report that shook me to my core. I wake up every day hoping to prove myself wrong on Earth's disaster cycle. Hopefully we won't actually have to endure this magnetic pole shift and great solar flash in our lifetimes. Now I know we will. Earth's magnetic poles are about to have a major acceleration. They found a way to look at the data. I live and breathe in a way I never thought to do before. And it's going to be unlike anything we've ever seen before. There's now a 50-50 chance in my mind that the very next geomagnetic jerk not more than three years away, will be the one that sends us over the edge, leaving only a few years left after that, and what's worse, if they are correct about the Siberian traps reawakening, the greatest volcanic event in Earth's history, then this will be the worst disaster cycle since the Blake event over a hundred thousand years ago. Let's hope not. I'll be making special videos detailing what I see in their reports, eyes open for those coming soon. And the pole shift conferences at Observer Ranch just got an upgrade, I promise you that. Two of them and two special guests in a five-week stretch at Observer Ranch starts in a month. Prepper events coming later this summer. Bring your RV, rent one of ours. Bring your tent or truck camper or try our 3D printed mini home. Come see us in person. It begins at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.